Every day we see a lot of fishing boats and, you know, recreation out here. So to see something of the magnitude of the cruise ship is pretty outstanding. To Algoma now, where a Viking cruise line ship made its only stop in Wisconsin today. Hundreds of passengers are exploring the area now. Preston Stober shows us what they're up to. Preston Stover with you here in Algoma, where you'll notice their lighthouse here on my right and then a huge ship here on my left. Well, that is the Viking Polaris cruise ship. They're on a 15 day excursion throughout the Great Lakes and they make their Algoma stop today. Today is an exciting day for Algoma and the surrounding area. This is the first time that a cruise ship has graced our shores and we're excited and thrilled and honored. The Viking Polaris ship is 665 feet long and has more than 300 passengers exploring Algoma. We have a town of 3,200 that are here. Um, and so a small town, but with lots of big smiles to greet them as they came on shore today. Some of the passengers are already exploring places like Lambo and a local winery. Well, we've never been here, obviously. And so um, I looked on the Google and the population about 3,000. So I'm expecting a really quaint, friendly atmosphere. <laughs> The captain of the cruise was awarded the key to the city, and in return, the city received a plaque for the occasion. Locals have made their way to the shoreline, and businesses have opened up accommodations to the visitors. But they were extremely excited to see this cruise ship coming in. So yeah, the hype around this town was, is pretty high right now. The ship will visit Algoma seven more times throughout the summer during their exploration of the Great Lakes. So we're excited to experience becoming a destination cruise spot for either expeditions on the way or for people to explore our small town. After leaving Algoma, the ship will continue to explore the Great Lakes before ending up in Duluth. In Algoma, I'm Preston Stober, NBC 26.